Danke. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing great. Um, staying inside, distance yourself from everybody. Basically my life then. Anyway, first of all I'd like to give a shout out to Gareth, uh, and one of my new subscribers, and also Laura, because I know you're watching. Don't forget the check in the post. Anyway, today I was going to do a video on bread, but I went to the shop the other day and they've literally got nothing. So first, we're going to have to go on the hunt for the most exclusive and rare breeze of bread, the sliced white. So, let's, let's get going. Someone's dead, I think. I'm here in the natural habitat of the sliced white. As you can see, the hunting gatherers have been and hunted it to near extinction. If we're lucky, we might see a sighting. So here it is. I've managed to procure it. We have to be quite careful. We don't want it to uh, run away from us. As you can see, it is a young adult male. You can tell by the size of it. It is also gluten free. So all of the pleasure, none of the guilt. You can tell it's a male from this thing sticking out. I don't want to get too close, it might bite me. But here it is in all its glory, look. I don't know when there's the next time there'll be a sighting like this. So just enjoy the moment. Right, so now we've, now we've got the bread. And you're going to need one of these as well. It's called a toaster. Surely everybody's got a toaster. If you... If you, where's the lens, if you haven't got a toaster, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of toaster you've got and how much you've paid for it and how nice the toast is from it. Right, so first, I'm going to unwrap it. Gonna... Does anyone remember the plastic tags you used to get around there rather than the, these things that stick everywhere? What does it smell like? Oh, it smells quite nice. I've got a hole in it. I've got a hole in my bread. I could wear it as a necklace or something. Right, so first we're going to do um, double buttered toast. All you need, all you need to do is just get a bit of butter, lightly butter one side of the toast. Like so. So you've got butter on there, look, I'm using clover. Um, I'm not sure it works with the butters, but obviously... Right, I'm going to put another slice in as well for the next thing I'm going to show you as well. So we're going to put them in there. I'll put it on about six. And... Wait. I think it's about ready to come out. Oh, as you can see, the side we buttered, look, is crispy but still soft. So, what we're going to do is we're going to butter the other side. So, there you have it. So, you got buttered toast one side, and then that's the other side we buttered and then toasted. Let's just give it a try. Oh, mmm. I get like, oh, mmm. Don't know if it's the kind of butter you use, but oh, it's so nice. It stays soft on the other side, but mmm. Now I'm gonna just have a normal slice of toast. And then we're going to get a normal slice of bread and butter this. Just demolish that. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take the slice of toast, cut it down middle, like that, and we're going to sandwich it in between the bit of bread. Like that. So it's a bit of toast between two between two slices of bread. Mmm. It's like eating a crisp sandwich. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of water. And I ain't got a brush or anything, and we're going to write on the bread. Do that to wet the bread. So when you toast it, the pattern that you've drawn should come out in the bread. So we're ready for it to come out. Yeah. Oh, it lets out the toaster! It's not really brown on that side, but... Danger! It's not quite worked as well as I thought it would. So there's two more things that I want to show you. Now this baby, it might not work in there, I'm thinking. So I might have to put it under the grill or in the oven. But let me show you what I'm going to do first. So we want to take another slice of bread. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take some sugar. I've got granulate sugar. I'm not kind of don't know what sugar to use. And we've got a bit of ground cinnamon. What you want to do is just sprinkle a bit of cinnamon on your loaf. This is kind of more of a dessert, I think. And then you want to get a bit of sugar. Sprinkle it onto the bread. Like that. I can hear some kids like shouting outside. I don't know if you can hear them. Right, so now that's done. We're going to whack this in the oven and see what happens. But we're going to make some other couple of going to make some other things as well first. So we put that to the side. We're going to get another slice. Um, and you kind of don't need the crust. So I'm talking about the ones that fly in kind of birds. So what you do is you get the bread and you just roll it up into like a ball. Kind of like a crouton. Like this, you roll it into a ball. Like that. Sometimes when you're feeding the ducks, you roll it into a ball like that and try and aim for them. You throw it at them. Don't do that, actually. Don't do that. Look at that. It's like a frame, isn't it? Look. Mmm, that's nice, too. This is, um, this is just like a, a mild cheddar. Might struggle to find cheese at the minute. So we don't need to do that. But I'm going to just put it in. Roll it up into a ball. Like that. And then we're going to put it on the plate. I'm going to put that in the oven. Don't really know how long for because I've never done this before. But let's go. So I think it's done. I'm not sure. Um, if you're going to do it at home, do it under the grill. The oven doesn't work. There it is, look. Caramelised it there. And that's the back there, not toasted at all. But there it is. It's caramelised a little bit. Maybe I'm using the wrong kind of sugar. Uh, and these, these aren't really crisped up very well. But they've got a little bit of brown on them. Let's try. Let's try this one. No, that ain't worked at all. Maybe put them in soup or something. 
Let's see if the cheese melted in this one. Oh, that's good. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm, that one's quite tasty. Let's, let's try this. Oh, it's crisp. It's crispy. That plate's a bit hot. Right, it's going in. Oh, wow. It's like Christmas on a bit of toast. Yeah, that sweet cinnamony hit. Oh, it's quite nice. You should definitely try that one. Definite. There you have it. A couple of different ways of cooking bread, and you thought there was only one. And that's whacking it in a toaster. So, hope you uh, try some of these things out for yourself. Let me know how it goes in the comments, and if you actually like them. <sighs> And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching to the end, the Dan Club. Um, go and make sure you check out the Facebook page because I've put some funny stuff on there in the last few days. Um, we could all do with a laugh with the things that are going on. And hopefully I'll see you next week for another video. I've got a few ideas. Ideas. I get it. Ideas. Anyway, bye. <laughs>